and welcome to my July monthly update. I'm basically looking over June and what that month has been for everybody out there. Of course, June is the month of the solstices, so a winter solstice or a summer solstice. And of course, down here in New Zealand, we are celebrating our midwinter, the shortest day. I have to say, for me, it was a really lovely, special time as I had a group of students who came round and we had a, a traditional turkey dinner with all of the trimmings. And we just sort of touched on how much we had changed. In this particular group of students, we'd started the 12 Keys to Illumination course um, back in 2013. And we'd sort of said that we'd meet halfway during the year so that we could just see what the impact of this year has actually had on our lives. And it seems to have been a life-changing time for everyone. People have moved on in their lives or come to terms with their lives. It hasn't all been easy and, and for one particular student it may not necessarily have been a good first six months. But from her perspective and her spiritual growth she seems to have come to terms with the changes that have happened in her life and, um, and is dealing with that in a really philosophical way. And of course to our lovely uh, Lulu, Erin Kit, she is now moved up to the North Island and that was a big change. We were reminiscing about her and, and you know, what she brought to this particular group. So the winter solstice for us down here was all about the seeds that we'd planted back in January. All those high hopes that we'd had, those high hopes of positive change, positive ways of being, thinking about our hopes and desires and our dreams, our dreams that we had for 2014. Now dreaming for the month of June has just been a really huge topic in terms of people having very vivid dreams, very soul connected dreams, working in their dreams. I know I for one, well, I've certainly been working in my dreams. I've been in all sorts of buildings, rooms, talking to people that uh, I don't know, people that I do know, people having really funny incidences in my dreams. So we're playing out on quite a deep soul level some of the connections that we've made or some of the dramas that have been occurring in our life. But another big thing that has come up in June is the whole, our dreams, as in our dream lifestyle, our dream home, our dream job. And what has really come up for people uh, halfway through this year is that sometimes that the dreams that we want actually aren't our dreams at all. And so we've been really striving over the last six months to create this dream, this dream opportunity that we'll put a house on the market, we're going to sell the business, we're going to change our ways, we're going to do something that, you know, we're going to get make us closer to our dreams. And all of a sudden, there's all these blocks, there's these um, aspects that are stopping us from achieving our dreams. So actually, was that our dream in the first place? Was it our dream? We're having to be really, really careful. Because on some level, there is that old saying that pops up, which is, be careful what you wish for. For other people, it has been like a dream come true. And so the businesses and the, and the perseverance, the persistence, the planning, the preparation, the four P's that we use in our house here, it has enabled us to see that actually our dreams are exactly what they should be. So the dream state for the, the month of June has been really quite vivid, both in our superconscious and our subconscious and our conscious minds. So how have you found the month of June? For me in particular, yes, I can see that from a family perspective, our dreams are coming true in terms of the development of our businesses, um, the development of uh, the things that we want to see come true, the, the things we want to see coming into our lives, so we're very excited about that. Um, but communication has been a big... Uh, a big episode, I suppose, I think with Mercury in retrograde, not my favourite, I have to say. So I'm always faced with computer glitches, email glitches, uh, programming glitches, so my beautiful desktop computer is winging its way down to PC world 
um, to be health checked, debugged, sanitised and uh, put back in order. My son's beautiful laptop is also on the blink. My emails were still trying desperately to get the emails to work. So it's one of those things when it comes to uh, Mercury in retrograde, everybody, but everybody has that little bit of a, ooh, what's going to happen this month in terms of electronic equipment? So that's where my um, stumbling block has been for this month. However, on a really personal note, I've been uh, just really excited about my reconnection with CTV. And although that has brought up some... I suppose painful memories. Um, I'm still quite angry about the earthquakes and, and what that has brought up in terms of having to change our lives so quickly and you know, that 360 degree change, nothing but nothing has been the same since then. But to be invited back on to CTV and to participate in Canterbury Live on a fortnightly basis with Andrea, who's my very first floor manager, so it's wonderful to see her sitting on the sofa beside me asking me the questions and she off, she always says the most lovely things when she's introducing me and welcome back to the family, welcome back to CTV home and it is like going home. I feel really, really privileged to be part of that very stoic group of people who had such a devastating time in the February earthquakes um, and have rallied around, have supported each other in a really tremendous way. And to be back on that on a fortnightly basis, I feel quite privileged. And it actually goes back to what I talked about in last month's uh, video newsletter, which is about recalibration, because I always remember who I signed up for the Madras Street Spirit Talk Wellness Centre, which was a vast complex and it was a huge project to take on board, that my contract with the universe was, well, if this is meant to be, get me onto CTV, and of course, they got me onto CTV within 10 days, I was on there as their spiritual life coach with Megan Banks. And here I am, I'm back again, I'm back again. But this time I'm not really pushing the universe in terms of having an outcome. I'm just enjoying being part of that process. So in the recalibration, I'm thinking about her dreams come true. And we're in that mid-year point. Um, where are you? Where are you on your journey? Where are you on your journey so far? We've got six months left, which, you know, has gone really quickly so far. We're, we're heading into the back end of 2014. And how's it been? How are your dreams? Are your dreams fading? Are the goals that you set suddenly taking a back seat for something else? Is it something else for you to consider? Something else for you to look at? Remember, nothing's set in stone. And you have that free will. You've got that conscious opportunity to create something quite dynamic for yourself. So if it's time to recalibrate and to look at our dreams and think, well, actually, that's not where I am anymore. That's not who I am anymore. Then be brave. Be really brave and be open to those new doors of opportunity that are popping up for you or will pop up for you. Remember, change is nothing to be frightened of, but sometimes we grow, outgrow uh, the dreams that we have. Sometimes we outgrow our situations, and so our dreams have to change. And be really aware of your dream state. Be aware of what you're dreaming about at the moment. Um, karma has also been a huge topic, and I was really delighted to have a Kel Sang um, uh, Luma here at the centre and she gave a beautiful, beautiful talk on karma, made everyone think, triggered quite a lot of emotion for people. So on a karmic level, are you just doing things because you feel you have to, because you're, you're wanting to fulfil other people's wishes? Is it time to break some of those karmic links and start afresh, start a brand new period in your life? Just like my beautiful computer, when it gets its health check, there's a brand new period for its uh, existence here. In, in the Phyllis Brown Limited uh, lifespan, so that'll be exciting to reboot, recharge, 
reintegrate new um, energies into, into the black box that sits here, uh, working away in the background on my behalf. I'm not quite sure what July is going to be. July is that tipping point. It can be quite an emotional uh, month. It's very much a water element. So maybe we need to be aware of our emotions next month. But interesting what I'm sitting talking to you about at the end of July as I look back and see where I've been and what I've been doing. As always, absolutely delighted to have you as part of my newsletter. And so we've got the New Look newsletter. I've still kept it as the Phyllis Brown uh, newsletter. And the Phoenix Light Foundation, I hope to have launched uh, by the end of August. The products are coming together quite nicely. The faculty are getting their energies together. The website's coming together. The new logo looks amazing. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a video link for a newsletter for them, um, which will be quite separate and we've got different products and offer there. So just that evolution, um, recalibration, evolution, still moving forward as we say. So uh, subscribe to this newsletter. Just click somewhere down here so that whenever I post on YouTube, you'll get the email to say there's a new video link. Uh, remember to forward this link out to your family and friends that you think that what I've gone through may be of interest to them if you have someone who's in a similar situation and a lot of people take heart from what I'm saying which is always just wonderful and hopefully we'll see you uh, in our new format uh, at the end of July. So until then, take care, look after yourselves, look at your dreams, don't be frightened to change them. There's always something around the corner that might just fit the bill better. Don't hold on to faded dreams, things that are not coming into your perspective. There's probably a good reason as to why they're not coming into your perspective at this point in time. So until then, take care. Kakita Anua, as we say down here in uh, New Zealand. I may have pronounced that wrongly, but I'm trying to get my New Zealand up to spec. And we'll see you next month. Bye for now.